Shalom everyone, this is Rabbi Allen, and we're going to continue our um, series of Yeshua in the Torah. We're outside, it's beautiful today uh, in Florida. I've got the fountain going in the, uh, in, in the background here. I've got a bird loudly chirping in the background here, but there's nothing I can do about that. So we're going to get on with our video. I have a question for, before, before we get to our uh, Torah portion this morning. Uh, did you ever wonder why the pomegranate is such an important symbol in Judaism? And I'm going to talk about today how the pomegranate, the, that wonderful fruit, is actually connected with the Messiah. Uh, so this week's portion is Tetzaveh, you command. It's from Exodus 27, 20 through 30, 10. The corresponding Haftarah portion is from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 43, verses 10 through 27. And so in our portion this week, um, there, uh, we read about the garments that the high priest and the priest should be wearing. We read about the breastplate that the high priest is to wear. We re read about the robe that he is to wear, the ephah, the head piece that he is, the turban that he is to wear. And, and so each of those articles, every one of the materials that uh, is commanded to use for these things, and even the color of these things uh, will speak of Messiah. And so today I'm gonna to talk about this thing that's a little obscure, and that is um, about the pomegranate. But let's get to our portion this morning uh, and look at Exodus 28 verses 31 through 35. It says, God says, to Moses, you shall make the robe of the ephod all of blue, and upon its hem you shall uh, have pom pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet yarn all around its hem, and bells of gold between them all around, a golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, upon the hem of the robe all around. And so we'll see that all around the hem of the garment of the priest will be alternating a golden bell, a pomegranate, a golden bell, a pomegranate, a golden bell, a pomegranate. And God continues and says, and it shall be upon Aaron when he ministers going into the Holy of Holies with blood for atonement. And its sound will be heard when he goes into the holy place before the Lord. And when he comes out, that he may not die. And so what we see is the bells are there on the hem, uh, on the bottom hem of the high priest's garment. So when Aaron or any of the high priests would go into the Holy of Holies, they would go before God himself. Uh, this was a powerful, important thing. And so just in case uh, the high priest would die while he was in the presence of God, um, the sounding of the bells would stop. And it was said that they had a, a rope tied around the high priest's waist, so if they wouldn't hear the bells anymore, they know that he died and they would pull him out of the Holy of Holies. So, the pomegranate. The pomegranate, God said, would be blue and purple and scarlet. These were embroidered onto the bottom of the of the uh, robe of the high priest. And so even the colors, the blue signified the sky, uh, the wonderful uh, sky uh, when we would look up into the heavens and we would know that God was up in the heavens and God's kingdom was up there. The purple showed royalty and kingship. And the scarlet, of course, was because of the blood of Messiah. And so then the golden bells, the bells were golden because God supreme, uh, the gold represented uh, the importance of God and the majesty of God. And so why is the pomegranate a symbol of Judaism? Why isn't the bells? And if it's a fruit, why isn't it apples or grapes you know we see symbolism with the blood uh with the red uh wine from the grapes why why don't we have 
the symbol embroidered around as to be an apple or grapes, why do we have it as a pomegranate? And the pomegranate has become really a symbol in Judaism for ages and ages. And first of all, I went to two stores, two shop, supermarkets looking for pomegranates and they did not have them. So I printed out a picture, just in case you don't know what a pomegranate looks like. Here's a pomegranate and here's the inside of the pomegranate with the seeds inside. And so we um, also, you know, in our house, we have some symbols uh, because they sim symbolize Judaism. And so we have this nice little um, box that we have that's made of pewter and on the top it is uh, and it's shaped like a pomegranate and you see little red uh, pomegranate seeds that are sort of little glass inlays in there and also i had something at the house uh we have a little banner i am my beloved my beloved is mine a wonderful little banner and if you see on the banner you see pomegranates all around so again uh, it, it is a symbol of Judaism. Well, you know, the amazing thing is uh, when we look at the pomegranate, um, we see the very seeds of the pomegranate symbolize our Messiah. And I believe this is why God gave the pomegranate as this so important symbol for Judaism, because he wanted our people to know about the connection of us as a people and the Messiah. And so the seeds, if you cut open a pomegranate, you see all these little seeds inside. And the center of the seed is pure white and enveloped around that seed is this bright red juiciness that is the wonderful juice that covers the bright white portion of the seeds. And sometimes you can actually see the whiteness because the red is sort of translucent and you can see, you'll see uh, the white showing through. And so these seeds represent the Messiah, the pure whiteness of the Messiah, the Messiah who would come without blemish. He was pure. He was God himself that came in the flesh. And the red, of course, signifies the blood that he shed. Just as so often we will see uh, the wine, the red wine that signifies the blood of Messiah at, at, at Passover. We talk about the Messiah and the spilled blood uh, during the plagues and also we connect it with the spilled blood of Messiah. And so the blameless Messiah and the blood of Messiah and we see them in this wonderful symbol of our pomegranate. And so that's it for today. Let me remind you, um, if you haven't picked up a copy of the book, The Hidden Secrets of the Passover Haggadah by me, uh, it's a wonderful book. It has great gems. It's a great book to read before our Passover that's coming up in a few weeks. And this way you'll know about these wonderful hidden secrets in the Haggadah. And these hidden secrets talk about many things, but they talk about specifically about the Messiah. And so you can get that uh, at, at uh, Amazon below. After my description, it says more. Click on that and you'll see the link for Amazon and you can um, order it right from Amazon. Also, I want to remind you uh, before I get out of here today, if you like the video, please share it with friends. You can copy and paste the address up above uh, or you can uh, and, and send it to them in a link or you can go right to your uh, Facebook page that you might have seen this video originally and you can share it with friends right on your uh, profile page and all of your friends and family will have an opportunity to see my video and listen about the pomegranate and how it relates to our Messiah, Yeshua. Um, also, below you can... Um, uh, like, there's a thumbs up, you can like this video. And also there's a button to subscribe. And when you hit that, also there's a little bell and you can click subscribe and click the bell and, uh, and it will bring you to my uh, channel, my YouTube channel, uh, Rabbi on the Fly. You'll get access to all my videos that I've done. And also if you hit that little bell, 
um, you'll get notification when a new video comes out. All right. So that's it for this week. Until next week, this is Rabbi Allen, and I am bidding you shalom, shalom.